Ooh. You see that? Hello amigos, welcome back to Life is Strange. Final episode. And then I could fi I could finally get to um I can finally get to before the storm. Before this amazing display of climate. Last time whew, last time we discovered a lot. And we know who the main antagonist is. So let's let's just finish this. Let's finish this guys. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. Oh. Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. Every time I hear the voices, like, ugh. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? You don't see me, but right now I'm flipping off the screen at him. God. God, I know this one's intense. And the decision at the end is going to be so hard for me to make. They're in the dark room and in that bunker. Creepy. Oh, 
Look over your shoulder, girl. Is anybody out there? Please help! Come on. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh. Oh. Okay, she's safe. I seriously need to put up a sign. Hold on. And I, I need a sign but that specifically says recording. That means you, Norma, do not disturb. <clears throat> These straps are hurt. Of course. And right in front of me. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. <sighs> <sighs> Legs are finally I'm free. Almost. You only released one. Looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. So creepy. <sighs> this angle highlights your purity. See, the slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Ugh. Oh Christ. Ugh. That perfect face. God no. Oh, so fucking creepy. Hold that stare there! Stay still! God. Ugh. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who is always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. 
Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Move! <sighs> Ruin his shots. Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, his tone of voice. His tone of voice is... <laughs> it's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, hey, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. That's a Damn but lie. she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. That's a lie. No, I promise. People will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. <laughs> Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move, or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. It's true. Damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take the oh. shot. and some of the shots oh gone. jesus i can't believe that happened so sick wait jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos Good. Now I can use them. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Ugh. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but 
She doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, my subjects. So you yes. turn them cynical. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that that's shit. what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly she outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon. You Desperate. leave her alone. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like Same with shit. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune, who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. 
Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Ugh. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Thanks for helping me. Douche nozzle. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. That shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane That's week. And nobody course, is going Max, to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. Portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I want to go with who cares. Oh, shit. The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you <laughs> actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max, has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes to change time. The winter to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's so make it real easy to capture Mark Stella. Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. This diary literally saved my life. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. 
hope I still love photography when this is done. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Well, I found you. For Here once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson... You'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posy. Poesy. Why did I give up on the world word for the image? Because I suck, but Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him, but he only seems to care about Maxie. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. Aww. Makes me hate her a little less, like, knowing. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate. Me too. Listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Aww. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh. Uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very... Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo. And 
Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. Yeah. Because you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Jeez. She's like, whoa. He did overreact. Yes. Get his ass. Oh. Hair entry one. I'm looking at uh, Victoria and her friend Taylor. Aww. Starlines. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. I'm on a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Girl. Good work, David. Good job. You're a douche, but you're... A douche with good intentions. Chloe. Aww. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. That's just too easy, girl. That's just too easy. That close up is really. Uncomfortable. It's the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Two moon. This is still gonna happen. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Aw. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. So please don't. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. I remember my first plane ride. Plane ride. It was earlier this year. Sixty degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Ah, uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. He wasn't enough. Just a bit. Hmm. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest. 
I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I Aww. already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Explains all the nosebleeds I have. I'm screwing around with time. <gasps> I'm just kidding. I get a lot of nosebleeds, so. what she's wearing it's really nice San Francisco is so cool and this gallery is huge so is the buffet if an event skimps on the food you know it's a bad event as long as I don't have to eat any caviar this is your day Max you can do whatever you want I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I'm, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Aw, that's sweet. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, uh, I want to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Oh, that's sweet. And, uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. <laughs> you know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. When he's not stressed, After he's everything cool. that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Speaking of scary things... Um, as I was talking about my first... Wow, Sir Max. You did it. Somehow. First trip I on... I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. So close. So close. <laughs> Anyways. Um, my first time ever on an airplane was earlier this week in April. May. It was in May. It was in May. We went to my aunt's wedding and the trip. And she lives in California. We live in Arizona. And it would it would have been like a 10 hour trip on a car. So we decided to go on a plane. At first I was very nervous because I'm like, oh, how's it going to be? Be cool, Max. How's Smile it be? and don't say anything stupid. And it was a really fun experience for me. There I am. Along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. What is a hero? The whatever that says gallery is proud to be a participant in 2013 Everyday Heroes National Contest, a showcase for today's future stars of photography. The winners chosen by prestigious teachers from art schools and programs across the nation reveal imaginative skill and heartfelt awareness which highlight the casual heroism of those who may never appear on the news or reality shows for unrecognized thieves to the community and beyond. Celebrating each young artist and their work is as important as their celebration of all, our all too often invisible everyday heroes. Look. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. I don't understand some of these. So inspiring, not as good as last year's show. Jeez. 
totally makes me want to start taking photos. The future of photography starts here. These heroes choose the path of least regret. Great example of total surveillance. Their 15 minutes are almost up. Thanks, this is so nice. Inspiring stuff. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. Aww. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. That one is kind of silly. Same. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Probably a lot. Do not understand art. Yeah, like there's a lot you gotta learn, like about the composition, lighting, color, negative space, well, and all that. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. How much would you pay for that? That's hers. Um, excuse me. I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Oh, God. I would love to hear that about my drawings, but... Hi, excuse me. You're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. Oh. So great talking with you, Max. Oh, I you too, Danny. And there she is to save the day. Hi. Let me see her picture. I want to see the picture. Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. It's a really cool picture, though. I like your picture. gonna happen when her nose bleed in the newspaper Chloe! hey are you okay we lost uh, you there for a second your nose. I'm okay uh, your nose is please Jet lag. <laughs> high altitude oh, you left the ringer off idiot oh, come on please answer What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, Chloe, I'm can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. 
Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Your picture. You have to focus on your picture. Let me just look at the other pictures, though. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. Oh my god, that was so cute. Her. How did these galleries afford to rent here? Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... <sighs> oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera <clears throat> you use. Yeah, can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. 